Lynn Plotschneider here with Deco Arts Facebook Live. And Valentine's Day is right around the corner. I'm going to be showing you a really cute and fun project. It's these little vases. But remember, you could also do this on drinking glasses or really any glass surface. Hugs and kisses. I think I have it backwards, but you get the idea. <laughs> So the first thing you're going to do, and by the way, this project is on decoart.com. Also, we have a great giveaway. It's an assortment of Americana acrylics. Just um, comment with a heart emoji, any, any one of your favorite heart emojis, and you'll be entered to win. And the winner will be announced on Monday, so stay tuned. Also, if you're watching this on Rewatch and you weren't able to catch you know, this live, you can go ahead and still leave your comment and be entered to win. This pattern is found on decoart.com, of course. So what you want to do is print it out, roll it up, and just pop it right in. That's why I said this is, you know, really easy. And I'm going to be using DecoArt's glass paint markers. And these are the one mil, so these are the thinner nibs. And to get started, uh, I'm just going to start with the flower here. And I'm just going in a circular motion because we do want this to look fun, fun and free flowing. Now here's a pro tip. If you want this to be a little bit more opaque and more paint actually come out of the marker, press it down and then paint. See how much more solid that area is. And you're just gonna do that all the way around Now, through the magic of television, this one here is already dry. And again, I'm gonna pop the pattern right in and we're just gonna continue. Get that lined up. And the next step is to take the orange glass paint marker. Don't roll away. <laughs> and you're just gonna do little swirls right inside. And of course, this is completely dry. And it just looks like a fun, very loose rose. Another uh, tip I wanted to mention is definitely wash your hands before working with glass. Uh, for example, if I had some lotion on my hands and I was touching this, it will affect the adherence of the glass paint markers. Also, give them a nice little shake before you start painting. I'm gonna try to do this backwards, guys, so you could see. And don't worry about making your lines perfect for this particular project. It's very, very loose. And then of course you would fill that in. And the next step is go up to the top and write the letters, in this case, hugs. Now, once it's totally dry, you can decide if you want one coats or two. Uh, but as you can see, that's very, very opaque. It's a really good coverage. Oh. And I want to make the G the fuchsia color. Because why not? And that's it. Super fun, super easy. And remember, you can do this with drinking glasses or really in any glass piece. So remember, just comment with your favorite heart emoji and you'll be automatically entered to win. But don't go anywhere because Crimson's coming up and she's going to show you how to make these super cute conversation hearts. <laughs> Everyone have a happy Valentine's Day and stay tuned. Crimson's coming. Oh, I get this. Hi, everybody. Crimson here. Ah. Hold on. Okay, got it. So I'm going to be showing you this fun project by one of our other designers that is on the website. And um, it's super easy and quick, those little conversation hearts. Now, what up? It's made with Americana acrylics. Let me see. Show you some of the paints. 
just Americana acrylics and the Galaxy glitter and that, that's my favorite glitter. And you know, this can be part of the giveaway, so make sure you enter. Like Pla mentioned, um, just you know, right click or click down a, a heart in your comments, and then we'll be entered to win, and they'll let you know on Monday who gets that. So that's fun. So I'm gonna show you this. I did a couple, this project is on our website, and so I did a couple of different changes. I just switched up to the substrate because I wanted a little larger because I wanted to use our really cool stencils on a ring and they're fun to use and obviously they're reusable because they're like plastic but i just got like a wooden eight by eight heart and the way i prepped that surface i just lightly sanded it and um, and then i'll show you i just painted on the um acrylic americana and you know you can change the colors up if you want there's a you know a pink and a light green all these colors if you want to use your favorite valentine's colors for these conversation hearts go for it let's use a soft brush and paint that paint on it goes on really beautifully and opaque and it levels very nicely you really only need one coat but just just to be sure i let this top coat dry and then i lightly sanded it and added a second coat just to give it a really um full matte coverage for those hearts because it really looks like the conversation parts So on this side, I'll just go ahead and show you. I have some started. So I just picked, now if you want to use um, longer words, you want to maybe use a bigger surface or, you know, a smaller stencil, but I really like the size of these. So that's what I went with. So you just pull it off the ring and I had measured it off where I wanted it to go. And you just tape it down. It's super easy. There's very minimal things you need to make this project. That's what's fun about it. You know, with any of our projects on the website, you can make them your own by just switching up, you know, a little idea or color of paint you use or the surface. Hope you try those out. You can see there's other projects that you can make and they're on our website. You can look through there for Valentine's projects. Get this tape down. Now I've just used a, a little like cosmetic sponge because I like the way they, you could use it like a, you know, a stippling brush or whatever your preferred method is for doing stencils, but I like the makeup sponge works well. Just show you this real fast. How nice it covers. Get some paint. Where's my sponge? <laughs> it looks like mm -hmm. it. Oh no. Oh no! It was on my board. I feel like we just saw it. Yeah. Um, well, improvise. Let's see. I'm not sure what happened to it. Well, pretend my finger is the sponge. <laughs> this would be the makeup sponge. Obviously, you wouldn't have that much paint, but if this was the sponge, you would dab off the paint. You know, and just tap it on there lightly, and you do a couple of coats. Just get it in that stencil. Obviously, my finger doesn't work as well as our mysterious missing sponge. Some paper towels back there, too. Oh, yeah. Maybe that works. And um, let's try that. Part of crafting is improvising. Yeah. Our studio troll got it. Okay. Well, you get the idea. And then um, you just want, it doesn't have to be perfectly covered because you know, the galaxy glitter has such a nice coverage and you can see on these, I only used one coat of the galaxy glitter. That base coat's just really to give that just a more, even more opaque, but the galaxy glitter is amazing. So just shake that real well, get it out on your surface. Can you see that, how beautiful that is? Big flex of glitter. 
Now, if you're using, if you're doing, you know, the Galaxy Glitter on a bigger surface, I would use a fan brush. But since it's this small writing, I like to use this um, glass painting brush. So you can just kind of scoop that glitter. I just start and I just kind of lay it on. Not really brushing, really. It's just kind of dripping it on. I have to say, this is fun. <laughs> it really does feel like candy. So you get the idea, it's super easy. You just wanna let it dry flat. Just like that. And you just see how beautiful shine that is. And you can see, just one coat gives it that really amazing, cute look. So I hope y'all try this easy Valentine's Day craft and just have fun with it. And I hope you guys don't forget to um, comment to get that giveaway and we'll announce it on Monday. And, um, you know, any of these products are available on our website. So just check that out. Have a good Valentine's Day. Bye.